Hey guys, what's good? I'm Vedant here. I'm back with Reebok uh, to give you some uh, insights on fitness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you basics of uh, functional movement and functional fitness. I'm going to take you through a series of exercises and teach you how they're supposed to be done. Now, uh, first things first is you will need either a broomstick or a PVC pipe, just like I have. All right, and that's going to be uh, with us throughout the series, right? So uh, go ahead and grab yourself either a pipe or a broomstick. Right, so we're going to start by learning the squat series. Now, for your squat series, you've got three parts. The first one being the air squat or the body weight squat. The second one being the front squat where there is loading in the frontal plane. And the third one being the heart of the Olympic lift snatch, the overhead squat. It is also the ultimate core exercise for your air squat. All right, I'm going to break this down in two steps your stance and your execution. For your squats, your stance was, will always be underneath your shoulders. Your feet will be in line with the shoulders with your toes pointing slightly outside. For your execution, I want you to think of two things. Hips going back and down and knees tracking the toes. These two things will remain constant in the squat, all right? So I'm gonna have my feet in line with the shoulders. I'm gonna send my hips back and down. I'm gonna have my knees tracking the toes. My spine stays nice and solid and I'm gonna stand right back up. Full extension of the knees and hips at the top. That's about it. Now throughout the movement, you have to make sure that you're braced in your core. Your abs are nice and tight and you're squeezing your bum throughout the movement, all right? Um, let's get about five repetitions, five good looking repetitions. Now, hips going back and down, knees track the toes, abs staying tight and you stand up. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Once you've mastered the air squat, that is the body weight squat, let's move ahead to the front squat. They will be loading in the frontal plane and you will squat all the way down and up. Things to remember from the previous video, your feet will always be in line with the shoulders. During the descent of the squat, we want to make sure those hips are going back and down. On the way up, you're going to drive through the heels, keep your core nice and braced, and full extension of the knees and hips. Once you've mastered this, let's start learning the front squat. For your front squat, all that changes is you're going to learn how to get into a front rack position. To get into your front rack position, let's have one thumbs distance from the hip, scoop the bar up onto your shoulders, make sure your elbows are driven all the way up. You can let the bar come onto your fingertips. You're gonna tuck your elbows all the way up. Brace abs on. From there, I'm gonna descend like I'm going into an air squat. So knees, track the toes, hips go back and down and you stand up. Now, you wanna make sure that your weight is on the heels and your elbows are driving up throughout the movement. Your best friend in this exercise is your elbows. As your elbows start drooping, you're gonna start falling down onto the floor. So I want you to stay nice and braced, elbows up. Squat down and you stand up. Let's get five of these. Elbows up, squat down, stand up. Two, three, four, last one. Elbows up and five. Right, so make sure your elbows are tucked all the way up. Your weight is on the heels. You're driving all the way from the floor and you stand up. Now, if you have these pointers in place, you'll be able to move the next exercise that's the overhead squat. Let's move on to the last exercise of the squat series, the overhead squat. It is the ultimate core exercise. It is the heart of the Olympic lift, the snatch, right? To get into your overhead squats, the stance will remain the same, that is feet underneath the shoulders. All you will learn is the overhead position. To learn the overhead position, I want you to extend, keep the bar on your hips and extend your arms as far as possible such that the bar stays onto your hip crease. Once you have this position step, Set, all you're gonna do is punch the bar up, have your knuckles facing the sky, armpits open, elbows locked. I want active shoulders right at the top. Once you get into this position, everything remains the same as the air squat. Your feet stay in line with the shoulders, you have your abs on, from there, knees track the toes, hips go back and down, you drive through your heels and you stand up. Let's get five of these. Active shoulders, hips go back and down, Knees track the toes, stand up. One, two, three, four, five. One of the most common mistakes while performing the overhead squat is having inactive shoulders. When your armpits are not locked and your elbows are not extended and you're constantly not trying to press up onto the bar, as you start descending, the bar starts leaning forward. 
that will result into a 40 overhead squat. What I want you to think of is having the weight of your weight of the world on your shoulders and you're constantly pressing up. So make sure that you have active shoulders, your hips go back and down, knees track the toes, your core is nice and braced, and we will master the overhead squat. Have fun.